I'm so honored to be standing here with my bipartisan colleagues and bicameral colleagues from the House and the Senate. Uh, we're joined today by Senators Tester and Danes, as well as uh, my House colleagues, Congressman O'Halloran, Newhouse, Gianforte, and I think some other members will be joining us shortly. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the President and CEO of the National Association of Community Health Centers. Tom, you have done a tremendous job in your leadership and your work in organizing this event. And I also, most importantly, want to thank each and every one of you advocates who are wearing your red scarves to advocate for the importance of community health centers. It's truly great to see all of you on this cold day. Um, as you know, community health centers provide families across our nation with critical health care and preventative services. In fact, community health centers serve 27 million people nationwide. That's one in 12 Americans. In my district alone, I represent New York's 21st district, health centers like Hudson Headwaters Health Network, North Country Family Health Center, and the Community Health Center of the North Country serve over 95,000 patients. Woohoo, New York! Woo! <laughs> and the Community Health Center Fund that supports these organizations unfortunately expired on September 30th. And while we successfully passed a short-term patch for this problem, that will soon expire as well. We need to act now, this is why you're all here today, to provide a long-term fix to support our community health centers. Last September, I introduced H.R. 3770, the CHIME Act, a bipartisan bill to extend community health center fund for five years. This legislation has 218 bipartisan co-sponsors in the House, and the Senate companion is being carried by Senators Blunt and Stabenow. And on Friday, I'm proud to have led a group of 105 of my Republican House members in a letter to Speaker Ryan urging him to attach an extension for community health centers to any legislation that will be moving quickly to the President's desk. And I am so pleased today that House leadership has heard our call and is including a two-year extension in the government funding bill to support community health centers that will Uh, but I want to give my colleagues an opportunity to speak, so I'd like to turn it over to Senator John Tester from Ontario. Thank you very much.